Welcome to Khalij Times. My name is Rube and you're listening to our podcast series on financial planning, which is powered by IG. It's a platform where you can transact in over 16,000 financial markets or 16,000 financial products. And this episode is all about trading in foreign exchange. So what is it? How does it work? How you know leverage works in, in foreign exchange, the pros, the cons, the challenges, the advantages of trading in foreign exchange, and so on and so forth. And to give all that information to us, I have with me Mr. Valid Jaradeth. He's the CEO of One Trading Markets. Ali, thank you so much for being a part of this show. Hello, Rob. Thank you for having me. Thank you. And let's just quickly start with, um, uh, you know, my. F- let's start with the first question that I have for you. Very basic. My, you know, understanding of, of foreign exchange or trading in foreign exchange is the conversion of one currency to another. I mean, you have a group of buyers, you have a group of sellers, and you know, they, they, they transfer the currencies at an agreed price. Exactly. But I want you to uh, elaborate, you know, on it a little bit more in the most simplistic manner. Okay. As simple as it is, the uh, foreign exchange market or forex trading is changing currency to another. For example, I'll give yeah. you a very simple uh, example that you want uh, to, tra- to travel to any country. Let's say you want to travel to United States. Mm-hmm. You are living in United Arab Emirates. That very simply that you change uh, your UAE dirhams to US dollars. So in this way, you have participated in the most uh, greater and most volatile uh, uh, market or financial market in the world, which is the foreign exchange, which is uh, the, the daily volume of this uh, market about five trillion dollars per day so do you mean to say that you know every single time that i travel abroad and i you know do a currency conversion i have participated in the in, in foreign exchange trade without knowing that? without knowing yes yeah. you are participated in the foreign exchange market okay yes. so i want to understand now how can an investor trade in foreign exchange uh, market and especially the ones you know who are starting out how can, how can, what is the mechanism of doing it? How does it work? Okay. Uh, the foreign exchange market is decentralized market. Yeah. So there is, there is no floor where you can go, okay, and want and say, I want to, uh, to invest in forex mm-hmm. market. You can invest in forex market by, by looking for a reliable broker, okay. online trading. Okay. Now it's online trading where you can open your live account, okay. okay and uh, deposit your money or transfer your money using any uh, electronic uh, deposits uh, like credit card or whatever okay Okay. you can make any bank transfer to the broker that broker you have registered with him and you can start trading so this is uh, like say decentralized market so you can't go anywhere specific place like any trading floor to go it's open for every uh, single person who want to invest and look, looking for a different uh, kind of, uh, of investment. Is there any rule book? What are the kind of measures do you think, you know, especially, uh, and I keep saying it, a new investor, though, you know, it goes for anybody who's investing because I feel that investing or trading in any market is exceedingly difficult, but especially, you know, somebody who's starting out. Exactly. Uh, there, there, there are factors that you need to keep in mind, bear in mind. So what are those? The main factor is to keep in mind is what you want from this investment, yeah. okay? This, there is always a risky investment. Is, uh, trading in, for, in Forex is a risky investment. Always you have to uh, study your, uh, your risk. Uh, what amount you want to invest, the percentage of this amount of your net wealth you want to invest, Will you uh, be affected if you, example, for example, lost this, this amount? And before uh, starting um, starting to invest in this market, you have to, oh, each trader, each investor have to educate himself yes. before he start trading. He have to know what is Forex market, what is the risk of this market, and what is the, the what is his goals, what are his goals in, in, uh, in, in, in this market. Bali, do you think there's a percentage of your income or your total wealth that you should be, you should be 
putting, you know, especially when you're starting out in uh, foreign exchange trading? Would you recommend a, yeah. a certain percentage? Yeah. Um, uh, like says uh investment should have a uh, good investment a yeah. good good amount of investment yeah okay it can i, I don't recommend that start with a big amount mm -hmm. okay you can start with a uh, small amount okay it depends on how wealthy you are how wealthy is the, this investor yes. okay um he can start with a small amount like 10 percent or five percent from his uh net okay. wealth okay, okay. Uh, and he can increase it uh, gradually Okay. If he says that he uh, he can uh, uh, can trade good, he can uh, have good profit, he good performance. Okay, he can increase uh, gradually to bigger amounts. But okay. with the starting, I yes. don't recommend five maximum to ten percent from the twelve. Okay, so starting minimum from a five and going yes. up to a ten percent yes. if you're starting out. Yes. You also mentioned that educating oneself is extremely important. What yes. is the best way of doing that? The best way and to educate is there is online courses actually. Mm -hmm. okay. Each broker with uh, any investor he will trade to uh, with uh, with any broker. Most of the brokers they are providing education and materials on their websites. They provide education material through webinars, through seminars. Okay, okay. I recommend each investor, new buy investor, to attend these uh, these seminars or these educational uh, sessions. Okay. Um, also, he can educate himself from online online okay. courses. Okay. Uh, there is a lot of materials uh, online how to trade, how to um, uh, to start trading uh, for beginners. Uh, technical uh, learning technical analysis uh, as well the basics of technical uh, technical analysis so he can understand at least how to read the chart how to take a decision to buy this currency or to sell this currency okay. based on his technical technical analysis uh, also uh, have to follow the fundamentals the geopolitical uh, uh, factors yeah also there is a lot of news a lot a lot of uh, movements uh, in this market, any investor have to uh, to keep updated uh, just to follow uh, his position or to take any position uh, in the market. And there's something very interesting, believe you know, when uh, I was talking to you, you mentioned is that never go against the currency trend, especially yes. when you're starting out. In technical analysis, we also say uh, trend is your friend. So always okay. go with your uh, with the trend. Okay. okay? It will be your friend and you will make uh, a good profit of it. Okay. Always also have to use the stop loss, as I okay. said. Okay. okay. Always using stop loss. There is no plan. There is no uh, single Excuse position yeah. Yeah, without, without stop loss. Okay. Because it is protecting the capital uh, of investment uh, from going to more loss and more and more and more and losing uh, the capital, all capital uh, by the end. Okay. Yeah. And what, according to you, are, are the most volatile currencies? Would you, I mean, I'm asking for the sake of asking, but do you think that, of course, it depends on a lot of factors, but which one would you think that generally are highly volatile currencies? Would you say US dollar or the, the, the Actually, we have the majors, the, yeah. the majors, the major currencies, okay. okay, which we have with the US dollar, Euro, GBP, Australia, New Zealand, a dollar also. Okay. The major currencies are the most volatile. Okay. 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 There is another currency or crosses. We call them crosses. Okay. okay. Exotic crosses, which called uh, uh, they are less uh, volat volatile. Okay. Uh, uh, we we call them uh, like exotic means. I mean like uh, GBP against uh, JPY. Okay. Ah, okay. okay. Uh, British pound against uh, the, the Japanese, uh, Japanese Japanese yen. Yeah. Uh, GBP uh, against uh, New Zealand uh, New Zealand dollar. Yeah. This we call exotic. They are less volatile okay. than the uh, the major the major currencies. Okay. So the most volatile uh, currencies are the majors. Yeah. Yeah. And you think that the U.S. dollar is of course highly volatile. Uh, courtesy, you know, Donald Trump. Yeah, Donald because Trump's tweets. 
<laughs> yeah, no, th- these days, yeah, it is more volatile. Yeah. Okay, it's also affecting the uh, stock market. Yes. Okay, affecting the so- stock market, affecting also the the U.S. dollar and affecting other affecting uh, uh, the the gold movement as well. So it's not only the U.S. dollar; it's, it's it goes to other markets actually, to uh, to metal markets and to stock markets. What are the other elements? That, that are important uh, you know, when it comes to mitigating the risk as far as forex trading is concerned? The main thing that uh, each investor have to know, yeah. his goal, when he going to trade, okay, when he is going to open any position, okay, he have to know what he want from this position. Stop loss is very important. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. Following up the market with his uh, with his position, yeah, okay. yeah, with his position, yeah. news, any factor will affect this position. Okay. It's, it's not just opening any position and going away, okay, okay to sleep. He has to follow. Mm. The stop loss protecting his capital okay. from uh, loss. Okay. Okay. okay, I have a risk management. Like okay. I want to lose like two hundred dollars for this trade. Okay. I put a loss on two hundred dollars okay. and never move the stop loss back to lose $400 or $500. You have to stick on your uh, stop loss because it's studied. Okay. Because you put this stop loss, depending on your study, okay. on your technical analysis, some fundamental analysis, whatever, okay. you, took a, you took a decision to enter this, uh, this position and to use this stop loss. Okay. It's very important to stick on stop loss. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. And let's talk a little bit about the transparency as well, you know, in foreign exchange trading. Yeah. So can you can you tell us a little bit how, how transparent is is the trade? The Forex market is most transparent okay. market. Information you can get uh, anywhere. Okay. Actually, it, you can get any information about any economic uh, factor uh, online. There is an economic economic calendar okay. on any website or any broker who providing a Forex industry. Okay. You can find any information like the central bank policy, any central bank policy. You can find any information about the jobless market any of any uh, country or any currency, which it will affect the currency. Okay. Uh, you can find uh, any uh, movement. Like we have channels, economic channels like Bloomberg, like CNBC. You can, you can listen to the economic bulletin. Uh, you can get any information. It's transparent. Anything about foreign exchange, mm. you can find about si- a single currency. You can find. You want informations about US dollar. You can find. You want information about GBP. You can. You can find about okay. euro. You can find. Unlikely, yeah. the other uh, trading like hedge funds. Mm. Uh, it's not easy to find uh, any information, information yeah. about any hedge funds. Yeah. What their positions? Okay. Because these informations are secret. In Forex market, there is no secret information. This is the transparency we're talking about okay. when new informations are available for everyone. Okay, perfect. Yeah. You know, so like you said that trading in Forex is probably the most, it, it's the most transparent, yes. uh, you know, market. But also, are there any regulatory bodies to ensure that the investment of, you know, the, the person or the, the investor's money is safeguarded? Yeah, each country, they have, um, they have a watchdog, their watchdog for okay. uh, and investing, uh, especially in, uh, in foreign exchange or, or FX trading. Now, the most famous, most reliable, reliable uh, watchdog, it's uh, Financial Conduct Authority and uh, in UK, yeah, it's the strongest one, uh, um, depending on the uh, on their policies. Okay, there is CISEC also in, uh, in Cyprus and each each country they have their own who are uh, allowing forex trading and they have licensing for forex trading. Uh, they have a good uh, a good uh, policies and okay. strict policies. They are also binding the uh, the brokers for uh, big security deposits okay. to ensure the safety of money of the clients. Okay, and yeah. what kind of regulatory authority we have here in the UAE? In UAE, we have for uh, for forex trading, we have the central bank. Okay, this is All the right. most reliable, yeah. most strongest one. Uh, maybe there is not a lot of brokers uh, here in UAE uh, uh, regulated by central bank, uh, but uh, it is the central bank who gives the. Uh, uh, licenses for forex trading. 
Okay, great. Walid, you've spoken about so many things. You know, of course, uh, how does foreign exchange trading works? We're going to be talking a little bit more about that from a technical point of view. But we've spoken about things like, you know, the advantages of trading in foreign exchange and the fact that it is one of the most transparent markets to trade in. We've got regulatory bodies ensuring that the investor's money is absolutely safe, safeguarded. So, you know, to all our listeners and our viewers, uh, it is it is uh, it is safe comparatively can i say that it is safe comparatively to invest in actually uh, foreign exchange when you compare it to other uh, you know uh, markets each investment actually is there is a risk there is a um, number of risk or a level of risk yeah. okay i can say that the most profitable yeah investment is the most uh, riskier investment. Yes, which and is, it is the most profitable. Investment. This is the most profitable yes. investment. And you would say because of the high volatility. Exactly, of the, of the, of because the because of the high volatility value. and because of the, uh, the because of the leverage that yeah. you are using. Someone is giving you a four hundred or three hundred yeah. of your capital, three hundred yes. times yes. of your capital. Yes. This big amount of money you can use to invest, but you can use it or invest it in in wise way. Yeah. Okay, uh, this is the most important uh, advantage in the forex market, which is which is the leverage. It works for the client. It work. It can work against the client, yes. as we said. Yes. Okay, this is the this is the weapon, as we said. It's weapon, weapon it's with, with two sides. With two yeah. sides. It's two sides weapon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is the most. Uh, the leverage is the most, uh, which is moving. Uh, the, uh, the 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 forex market, which is makes the liquidity and uh, allows the liquidity in the in the forex market as much volume, okay, as much the currency will. will and liquidity will move. is is extremely important when it comes. The to liquidity the is extremely important because yeah. the liquidity the liquidity itself is uh, uh, making the the cost is less for the for the trading. Let's say if there is no liquidity in the market, yeah. okay. And there is no uh, bids, no asks, so no buyers or no sellers. Or you, there is buyers, but no sellers. Okay, if there is no liquidity, you cannot buy. If you, if there is no liquidity, you cannot sell. You cannot yeah. find buyers. You yes. cannot find yes. find sellers. There's yes. shortage of of volume, shortage of liquidity. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. it's, it is very important. Yeah. Choose the time of trading also, uh, where the liquidity is. Maximum. Is, is, is maximum. Yes. Okay. okay. This is one important thing, m- m- most important thing. The, the only cost now in the market is the spread, is the difference between the buy and sell, which is very small. It's, it's okay. only, uh, it's a part of the cent. Okay. Uh, in the, we can call it okay. pips. Okay. okay. It's just okay. one pip, for example. Okay. Okay. Which is a part of the cent. Okay. So uh, the the cost is very, uh, is very. It's very low. It's very, very low. Okay. Yeah, it's very b- because of the technology. Okay. Okay. Before back to the 2005, the cost per one trading lot, standard lot, was $250. Now the cost is $10 wow. only. Oh wow. Yeah. This is because okay. of the liquidity, because of the technology yeah. uh, we have uh, nowadays. Okay. Yeah. And you know, since we're talking about the trading cost i also want to know how important is it you know in foreign exchange trading it is important because it will reduce uh, it, it, it will ex- maximize the profit of each of each trade okay. for example i'm paying uh, before 2005 i was paying 250 dollars yeah. okay yeah. 250 dollars it costing me like 25 pips in order to start making profit i okay. need a movement of of, of the currency to move 25 pips, which two cents, I mean, mm. okay, mm. 2.5 cents, in order to make profit. Okay. Now, if the if the position of the currency it's just moved one pip, I will start make. I covered my cost, yeah. okay, yeah. with one movement, not yeah. 25. So I saved from that time to now. I saved like 24. 24 pips. Okay. Okay. And when you say pips, you mean the unit. Point. The point. Yeah, point. Okay. I mean point. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All yes. right. Okay, so you know, as we're getting a little more, more, more technical with the terminology which is used, yeah, for, it is important as well. Exchange trade, which yes. is uh, absolutely, if you're trading yeah. in ad, you, if you're trading in foreign exchange market, you need to know yes. uh, the technical aspect of it. Let's talk about the spot forex market, and I'm only going to be touching upon this because this is where all the short-term transactions happen, right? Yes. So 
uh, tell us a little bit about it, Baleed. The spot market is where you go to buy uh, the uh, currency without any delivery date or without okay. any expiration date. Okay. 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 There is CFDs for each investment uh, instrument. There is a CFD. Okay. For spot markets, okay. Yeah. There is a CFD. There is a futures. Okay. Uh, Euro futures, okay. GBP futures, expiration every uh, okay. every three months. For spot, uh, for, forex for market a spot. as well. For, okay. for spot markets, there, no, there is no expiration. Okay. You can hold your position as long as you want. Okay. 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 But when you trade in future market, yes. Okay. Yes. You will. You have to deliver. Or the 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 contract will be delivered in a specific time. Okay. Okay. So okay. it will be closed okay. in a specific time. So. Okay within wherever, wherever you have profit or you have loss okay, okay. this position will 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 be closed okay. the spot market there is no expiration date there okay. is no delivery date okay. you can hold your position okay. forever until okay. you close it manually by yourself okay. or you can uh, keep it as long as you want okay yeah. and you know very interestingly like you said that uh, we were talking i was talking to you and you said that you know of course, you know, with any 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 market, there is a the more profit you make, there's also a, a the, the the maximum the maximum the, profit the maximum the risk. maximum the maximum risk. Yes. So you know, you spoke about the psychology of yes. of investing or trading in a market, like yes. how you should not be bogged down about the fact that you've lost money, which goes again, you know, the same psychology plays here when it comes to foreign exchange trading as well yes right yes and so how can you i just want to know you know how can you mentally sort of prepare yourself not to not to get you know so so bogged down about the fact that you've lost uh, money yeah exactly which is bound to happen especially when you're starting out yeah yeah, yeah. psychology is is very important uh, no one likes to close his position with loss uh, no one likes to loss mm. but sometimes uh, the loss is, can save you from uh, losing all your capital, mm. uh, cutting cutting loss, okay, okay. at a specific okay. point, okay. which I spoke about the stop loss. Yes. It is the same. Okay. You, you have to accept the loss. It is investment. It is a kind of trading like any trade. Okay, You have to accept the loss as you accept the profit. If any investor, any client, he didn't reach this point okay, and keep this point in his mind, he will never make profit in the market yeah. actually yeah. because stop loss or cutting loss is will save you from losing all your capital mm -hmm. this is very important the psychology the psychology is playing a big a big role yeah. with training unfortunately unfortunately mm -hmm. maybe only five to seven percent of people of investors they can uh, control this uh, control themselves with with trading and uh, and psychology who can who can even the market went against him yes. he can stay he can hold his position because he knows his target because he is stick on his uh, his stop loss yes. so he have a plan that's yes. why have Which a plan very stick it's very important to have set you know a, yes. a list of goals so that you can you can plan your um, trading trade yes. accordingly plan your trade accordingly yeah. and stick on your plan okay uh, this is very important. This is the psychology thing. Don't freak out. Yeah. Okay. Do not panic in the market. It's very important. Okay. Yeah. And would you also recommend a specific trading style? Trading style. It depends. Um, there is and there is no specific style. Maybe there is a specific trading strategies. Okay. okay? It okay. depends on each uh, on each um, technical analyst. Okay. Okay. On each um, each study, each school, okay. because there are, there are different different technical schools in uh, in the market on the technical analysis, okay. different indicators, uh, different uh, strategies. This is um, like thousands of strategies. He can any any investor can choose one of these. He can 
make his own strategy for trading okay, okay. this comes with the experience with trading mm-hmm. with uh, practicing mm-hmm. uh, like with trading with technical analysis with the studying with edu- to educate uh, himself up, yeah. yeah there is a lot of uh, a lot a lot of uh, educational material where everyone can find and start uh, studying technical analysis okay. and build his own strategy okay you know me and Walid we were just talking that this is you know it's fantastic that you're sharing all these insights with us and you know i'm sure that i am of course you know learning a lot and i'm sure that any everybody who's listening to us and watching us is yeah. is probably you know benefiting the same way but until unless you get down to practicing and trading yourself in the market it's very very difficult to get a hang of these things. it's not theoretical it's a practicing you have to practice yes and they say as they say you know even the best of investors the best of traders the most experienced ones also lose money yes right so yes. like you said the psychology is the starting point yes please do not get bogged down but one thing yeah and for each investor who the new buy investor he yeah. have to practice with a demo account which is virtual money yeah okay okay he can okay. he can open with any broker Okay, a demo okay. account and start trading as a real, but okay. take it serious yeah. that you are put a plan, stick on it, yes. trade on it as a real money, not a virtual money. Okay. This is the most important thing that deal with the virtual money. Just like a, you're dealing with real money. The, you know? Like real yeah. money. Yeah. At that time, if you reach this point that you are you are uh, dealing with the virtual money like uh, uh, real money, mm-hmm. okay, yeah. then you will be a successful trader. I'm sure for that. Perfect. Yeah. You know, Valid. Of course, we spoke about the advantages. Do you see any? Do you see any challenges as well when it comes to foreign exchange trading? Do you think there there there, there are some cons as well to it? Maybe um, for the investors, I think there is no challenges. Really? Actually, okay. yeah, it's everything is open for the investor to trade. Okay. Maybe the only challenge it comes uh, where with which broker I should start trading. Okay. okay. And what is the best way to decide Choose, that? Choose choose a real a reliable broker. Okay. Choose a regulated broker. Okay. That's it. Okay. So look at the profile of, of the company exactly. or the individual. The profile, the know, good standing of the himself. company. You yeah. can, you can look at the 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 reviews of the company. Okay. And that's a, the best way. To, yeah, this is the best way. Yes. All right. Yes. The challenges are for the brokers themselves. So, okay. Yeah. So this has been quite an exciting discussion, and like you said, that you know forex is one of the the biggest investment markets or the most actively traded markets yes. in the world with 5 million transactions trillion, trillion 5 trillion volume yeah, 5 volume trillion with taking tea. place every yeah. single day so of yeah. course you know you can make uh, there is of course you know there's a lot of potential of making a lot of money here provided you stick to the rules and you know how to manage risks uh, and and follow you know yes. everything that you've said before we wrap up this session i want you to tell our viewers five most important key takeaways from this session that they need to absolutely bear in mind before putting their hands in 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 foreign exchange trading okay first of all you should have a plan yeah don't trade without a plan so have a plan have a plan have a plan yes. okay practice 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 and start with virtual money not real money till you yes. get like a hang of it this yes. is just to mitigate your risk right but get serious about it yes okay. risk management is very important okay and in risk management what are the three things that you would say for the risk management yes the stop loss like stop loss to... yes okay don't yeah. trade more than 10% of your okay. capital okay 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 and stick on your plan with the risk management stick on your plan stick on your plan perfect this stick is this is kind <laughs> this is kind of 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 risk management as well yeah. okay so stop yeah. loss stick on your plan and yes. uh, please do not invest more than 10% of 10%. your net wealth or your income yes. and also if you're starting out please trade between 11 o'clock to 4 o'clock yes you know at the, the morning yes. hours the afternoon for new hours buyers, for new for new, new investors buyers, yeah. of course you know yeah, because that's investors. where the, when the market is, is the most calm yes. and there's less volatility in the market perfect yes. anything else believe that you would like to leave our viewers with food for thought yeah yes yeah. tell us educate yourself yes okay okay educational is very important absolutely so to know how is the market is moving yes okay yes the economic cycle okay 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 and 
Don't be greedy. <laughs> And with this, it's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Of course, you can log on to KhalishTimes.com. That's where we have lined up the complete podcast series of 10 episodes. So everything and anything that you want to listen to or watch, you know, about uh, or know about financial planning, it is there, lined up there for you. Also, you can navigate through our social media pages. You can go to Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and you can, of course, you know, listen uh, to our uh, podcast series on financial planning there. And just to remind our viewers that uh, the podcast series is powered by IG. It's a platform where you can trade in over 16,000 financial products or financial markets. Thank you so much for watching. Of course, keep tuning in to KhalishTimes.com for more news and updates. Thank you for watching.